A very good morning to all. I hope you all are doing great. Today we'll be starting with the third lesson of your book, First Flight. The name of the lesson is Two Stories About Flying. This lesson is divided into two parts. First is his first flight. Second is black aeroplane. First, we'll begin with the first one that is his first flight by Liam O. Flaherty. The story is an account of a young bird that is afraid to fly for the first time. He believes that his wings would not support him. Despite his younger siblings flying fearlessly with much shorter wings, he could not gather the courage to do the same. He was punished to stay hungry if he did not try. Thus, it was his mother that compelled him to fly by using food as a trap. The lesson reflects how one hesitates to take the first step and that fear is all in the mind. One should trust one's abilities because the fear of suffering is worse than the fear itself. Let's begin with the first part, his first flight. The story, his first flight by Liam O. Flaherty is about a young seagull who is afraid to fly. All his younger siblings, despite their much shorter wings, flew fearlessly while he could not gather the courage to trust his own wings. The young seagull became sad when he saw his parents perfecting his younger siblings in the art of flying. His parents scolded and taunt him for not even trying. They even call him a coward. They tell him a lot to at least try and also threaten him to leave him alone and hungry if he does not. The following day he is left in isolation and upon feeling hungry he tries to seek the attention of his family members. Only his mother who is withering a fish in an attempt to eat it notices his son. The young seagull cries out of starvation hoping his mother would help. On seeing his mother come to him with the fish, he gets excited. But on noticing that his mother stopped midway, he gets maddened out of hunger and takes a dive at the fish, forgetting for a moment that he is afraid to fly. Finally, he took his first flight. All the family members celebrate his victory by cheering and dancing around him. He also attempts at floating in the sea that he was once afraid of. Thus, he overcomes his fear and realizes that it is all in the mind. So this was the short summary of the first part of the lesson, his first flight. You must have seen Seagull Seagull is a bird that lives near the sea and has short legs. You can even see it in the picture. And white and grey feathers. So, this story is about a young seagull who is at this stage of life where he has to learn to fly. 
Unlike his younger brothers and sisters, he is too afraid to fly. When all of them went for flying for the first time near the edge of the sea, all of them except him succeeded in flying. He could not trust his wings. He got terrified by the vast sea and got convinced that he could never fly. As a result, he was ashamed and disheartened and thus went inside the ledge where he usually slept. His younger siblings managed to take their first flight despite their wings being shorter than his. But he could not summon the courage though he tried so desperately. He was scolded by his parents for not trying again. But he was so afraid that he could not even move. Now he had been alone for a day after he tried because his parents were busy focusing on his siblings. They helped his siblings master the art of flying and diving for food. You can look at here. His older sibling even caught his first fish which he proudly ate at a rock while his parents celebrated it. That morning, his parents taunted him all the way for being a coward. The sun had now risen and he was feeling the heat more than ever because he was empty stomach since the night before. He, stead, he stepped out of his ledge and pretended to sleep on one leg to gain the attention of his family. Still, no one noticed him. Still, no one noticed him. His siblings were sleeping. His father was cleaning his feathers with his beak and his mother was standing on another plateau eating fish while she noticed him. The seagull got mad on seeing the fish because he was very hungry. He loved to tear away fish and scrape his beak now and then. He cried in hunger. Ga 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 he cried begging her to bring him some food. Gao ko ah, she screamed back derisively. So they were conversing with each other. He kept crying for food. At the sight of his mother flying towards him with a piece of fish, he was very excited as he noticed that she is coming nearer and thus leaned forward. Suddenly, she stopped not too far from him. Out of excitement and hunger, he dived at the fish without realizing for a moment that he was afraid to fly. He got so excited that he fell as soon as he tried. For a moment, he was shocked and still stood still out of terror. All this lasted only for a moment and soon his feathers opened as he flied. He was no longer afraid. He just felt a little bit dizzy. Then he flapped his wings once and he soared upwards. Ga 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 ga. He could feel himself cutting through the air. He was not afraid anymore. 
His mother accompanied him. The whole family screamed out of excitement, thus celebrating his fear, his victory over fear. Once he overcame his fear, he forgot that he was once afraid of it. He did all those things he once feared. He flied straight over the sea and could not see and could see the greenery and mountains beneath. He screamed out of joy as he enjoyed his victory. When he landed, his family landed along with him as a gesture that they were very proud. They were screaming, shouting in excitement in their high-pitched voices. He then went into the sea where at first he got scared and thus panicked. He tried to uh, escape but got tired and weak because of hunger. Thus, when he calmed down, he started floating in the sea. He was once afraid of. His family was celebrating in excitement and offered him food as praise. Finally, he had overcome his fear and had made his first flight. So, this is the short summary of the, uh, of the lesson, his first flight by Leon O. Leherty.